putoutun. Jila mula ne ni du bobo. Look, I know we're trying to keep a low profile, but this kind of attitude will draw attention we don't need. Hey there, what, 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 what were you walking? I just clean those floors. Oh, I get it. You figure that just because I'm a janitor, you don't have to show me any respect. I'm beneath you, is that it? You, you'll change your tune the first time your plumbing breaks down and raw sewage floods your apartment. Then you'll be begging for Kadir to come help you out. There's no need to antagonize the man. Besides, do you want to live in filth? I sure don't. Well, we'll see who has the last laugh then. Now, if you ain't gonna be civil, then I got work to do. This place doesn't clean itself. Hey! I do the best I can with the equipment I got. You're just like all the rest, complaining about me all the time. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace, the planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of at any rate. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than a ship wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My homeworld was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. I know that. I'm not angry at you. Don't think that. I, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. Down you go! Uh -huh. Time to rumble! Daddy! Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs>
Take me away and kill me! My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead! Are you joking? We don't need this guy's credits. Just go on. We were happy to help. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same! Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you're welcome here. It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. What are you doing? Don't go in there! That door is for employees only! Uh, nothing. This... this isn't your concern. Just... just forget you saw anything, okay? What? No! You don't tell the Sith! Please! I... I can explain all this. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. No, it's not. The Sith would torture men like these or worse. And you're not threatening this man while I'm present. Fine. Take these credits to seal your tongue, then leave this place. I don't want to have anything to do with a monster like you. Well, I understand some extra credits might help us in our mission, but I don't approve of your methods. Zelka's a good man. You shouldn't have done that. You've got your credits. Now please show yourself out. You're no longer welcome here. What is this planet coming to, huh? Yep. Shlomi's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Shlomi? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Hey! This schlemmy's got a mouth. Oh, great. We're fighting the drunks, are we? And do they stink. You talk big, schlemmy. Maybe you should show us a little more respect. Time to teach you a lesson, schlemmy. Maybe you'll think twice about coming up into our turf. I'm Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees, and Ithorians, and Rodians, and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action! We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet! Yes, my fellow human, you have seen the light! Gordon Kolu has marked your base. 
I will remember you when the time to destroy the aliens and the alien lovers is upon us. For now, stay vigilant. Be ready. Trust no one. I will find you when the day of reckoning is upon us. Don't! Don't hurt my family! Look, just take what you want and get out! Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Teresian underground? Start talking. I want answers. He offered to. He endured it out. And ready good. And he behind Gorugia. And now for the Dufta. Gorugia. You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. Smart move. This is your last chance. Where did you hide those uniforms you stole? <laughs> Sure. I recognize the uniform. What, what do you want? I haven't done anything wrong. If you want to search the place, go ahead. I won't stop you. I've got nothing to hide from you. Please. Please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he, if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here. I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. You mean, you're not here to kill me? But uh, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? I knew you were here to kill me. Well, I won't go down without a fight. Uh -huh. I'm all ears, beautiful. Is there something else you'd prefer I called you? I might consider it, but what are you going to call me in exchange?
Is that it? You can do better than that. Ouch. <laughs> that is better. I bet beautiful doesn't sound so bad in comparison now. Run the e chawa tong bola Johnny Ku, Yuma Wama Nibo Lora Waisha Waga Shichi. Chichintomatunkakolayamitwa <laughs> Kipuna na bon sha Kava dumpa kupaliaya moka pata Watawama muliri kin kun shopeshwa no ba mule raji Jone yuturi yanchi either bola on chi chinek ba muli selima wanga kun bikin china pala mule Tonki ba non tontek, tuni cha chon kun ne. Randi i chawa tongbola Johnny Koo. 